Mancala is a family of board games played around the world, sometimes called sewing games or count and capture games, which describes the gameplay. The word Mancala comes from the Arabic word Nakala meaning literally to move. No one game exists with the name Mancala. The name is a classification or type of game. This word is used in Syria, Lebanon, and Egypt, but is not consistently applied to any one game. The old name Mankala is a clear indication of the Arabic origin of the word with the silent H at the end of the word. It is also using the Arabic instrument name format of Mafala further solidifying the Arabic origin of the name, which heavily influenced sub-Saharan languages. The word Mankala can also be found in the Arkan. The name describes the type of games played with this instrument, not a specific game played with it. There are many variations to the game with different names. More than 800 names of traditional Mancala games are known, and almost 200 inventor games have been described. However, some names denote the same game, while some names are used for more than one game. Some of the most popular Mancala games are Baula Kiswahili, widespread along the east coast of Africa, and an integral part of Swahili culture, one of the most difficult games to learn because of its rather complex rules. Konkak, close variants in South Asia from the Maldives to the Philippines, known by many different names. Kala, a modern game played mostly in the US and Europe. Owari, close variants are played in the Caribbean, throughout Western Africa, and in immigrant communities in North America and Europe. Togaz Korgul or Togaz Kumalak, played in Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan, where it is considered superior to chess. General gameplay. Most Mancala games share a common general gameplay. Players begin by placing a certain number of seeds, prescribed for the particular game, in each of the pits on the game board. A player may count their stones to plot the game. A turn consists of removing all seeds from a pit, sowing the seeds and capturing based on the state of board. This leads to the English phrase, count and capture, sometimes used to describe the gameplay. Although the details differ greatly, this general sequence applies to all games. Equipment Equipment is typically a board, constructed of various materials, with a series of holes arranged in rows, usually two or four. The materials include clay and other shapeable materials. Some games are more often played with holes dug in the earth, or carved in stone. The holes may be referred to as depressions, pits, or houses. Sometimes, large holes on the ends of the board, called stores, are used for holding the pieces. Playing pieces are seeds, beans, stones, cowrie shells, half marbles or other small undifferentiated counters that are placed in and transferred about the holes during play. The most minimalistic variants are Nano Wari and Micro Wari, created by the Bulgarian ethnologue Asia Popova. The Nano Wari board has eight seeds in just two pits. Micro Wari has a total of four seeds in four pits. With a two-rank board, players usually are considered to control their respective sides of the board, although moves often are made into the opponent's side. With a four-rank board, players control an inner row and an outer row, and a player's seeds will remain in these closest two rows unless the opponent captured them. Objective The objective of most two- and three-row Mancala games is to capture more stones than the opponent in four-row games. One usually seeks to leave the opponent with no legal move or sometimes to capture all counters in the front row. At the beginning of a player's turn, they select a hole with seeds that will be sown around the board. This selection is often limited to holes on the current player's side of the board, as well as holes with a certain minimum number of seeds. In a process known as sowing, all the seeds from a hole are dropped one by one into subsequent holes in a motion wrapping around the board. Sowing is an apt name for this activity, since not only are many games traditionally played with seeds, but placing seeds one at a time in different holes reflects the physical act of sowing. 
If the sowing action stops after dropping the last seed, the game is considered a single lap game. Multiple laps or relay sowing is a frequent feature of Mancala games, although not universal. When relay sowing, if the last seed during sowing lands in an occupied hole, all the contents of that hole, including the last sown seed, are immediately re-sown from the hole. The process usually will continue until sowing ends in an empty hole. Another common way to receive multiple laps is when the final seed sown lands in your designated hole. Many games from the Indian subcontinent use Pusikan hour laps. These are like standard multi-laps, but instead of continuing the movement with the contents of the last hole filled, a player continues with the next hole. A Pusakin Awa lap move will then end when a lap ends just prior to an empty hole. If a player ends his stone with a point move he gets a free turn. Capturing depending on the last hole sown in a lap, a player may capture stones from the board. The exact requirements for capture, as well as what is done with captured stones, vary considerably among games. Typically, a capture requires sewing to end in a hole with a certain number of stones, ending across the board from stones in specific configurations, or landing in an empty hole adjacent to an opponent's hole that contains one or more pieces. Another common way of capturing is to capture the stones that reach a certain number of seeds at any moment. Also, several games include the notion of capturing holes, and thus all seeds sown on a captured hole belong at the end of the game to the player who captured it. History among the earliest evidence of the game are fragments of a pottery board and several rock cuts found in Aksumite areas in Matara and Yeha, which are dated by archaeologists at between the 6th and 7th century AD. The game may have been mentioned by G. Orgis of Segler in his 14th century, G.E.Z. Text Mysteries of Heaven and Earth where he refers to a game called Karkis, a term used in GEZ to refer to both Gubayar and Santras. The similarity of some aspects of the game to agricultural activity and the absence of a need for specialized equipment present the intriguing possibility that it could date to the beginnings of civilization itself. However, there is little verifiable evidence that the game is older than about 1300 years. Some purported evidence comes from the Kerna Temple graffiti in Egypt, as reported by Parker in 1909 and Murray in his A History of Board Games Other Than Chess. However, accurate dating of this graffiti seems to be unavailable, and what designs have been found by modern scholars generally resemble games common to the Roman world, rather than anything like Mancala. Although the games existed in pockets in Europe, it is recorded as being played as early as the 17th century by merchants in England. It has never gained much popularity in most regions, except in the Baltic area, where once it was a very popular game, and Bosnia, where it is called Ban Ban and still played today. Mankala has also been found in Serbia, Greece and in a remote castle in southern Germany. The United States has a larger Mancala playing population. A traditional Mancala game called Wara was still played in Louisiana in the early 20th century, and a commercial version called Kala became popular in the 1940s. In Cape Verde, Mancala is known as Ural. It is played in the islands and was brought to the United States by Cape Verdean immigrants. It is played to this day in Cape Verdean communities in New England. Psychology. Like other board games, Mancala games have led to psychological studies. Rechitsky has studied the cognitive processes used by Wale players. Some of Rechitsky's results on memory and problem solving have recently been simulated by Fernand Gobert with the CHREST computer model. Vivugat has studied the psychology of bow playing.